Good morning. Today is October 6, 2022, and I have a quick and beautiful game for you. And today's game is basically really short, really quick, really to the point. It also features chaotic uh, opening. Basically, it fall under Queen Pawns game, other variation. So, I have three puzzles for you to do. Let's go with the first one. White has just moved the pawn to c4. What should I do? Second puzzle. Bishop has just moved to g4. What should I do? Third puzzle. The pawn has just moved to a4. What should I do? Alright. So, this is the beginning of the game. And as you can see, it starts with queen pawn variation. And I immediately move the pawn here. That's not necessary, by the way. I just like to mix it up. So, mix it up and just attack immediately, attack immediately. At, uh, keep up the pressure over here. Uh, keep up the pressure over here. Now, this is actually not a good thing. Usually, the target is the king over here. So, this is not a good thing. I'm moving the bishop as if I was white and this is the king. But of course that's not true. So this is somewhat a mix up over here. That's why it's called other variation. Next move. So that's the point of uh, moving the bishop there so I can threaten that one. And as, as another note over here, the fact that these things are open, the king probably will not be casting this side. If the king wants to castle, it be this side. So I can plan accordingly. Next move. And it's very aggressive by white, but that's okay because I was very aggressive as well. And this one is. Uh, aggressive really kind of like baiting for white to do this to, to, to kick my net out but of course that's what happens boom like that so now if the knight has moved here that's actually very strong because uh, the queen is basically over here takes this one over here so the knight will have to go someplace maybe over here and then queen takes queen rook takes queen and the king will have to castle on the other side over there. So, if uh, white does that, it'd be powerful. But if white does that, pretty much forget castling that side because the pawn would, structure would have been gone anyway. So, this is a baiting move, kind of like a, let's screw up uh, white's pawn structure over there. And as you notice, I still have pretty much all my pawns over here uh, with the exception is this two pawn over here and I always say that if you have doubled pawns it's only counts as one pawn so next move and that's the point oh wait a minute yes okay and that's the point of moving the Queen there, because so when I castle this side over here, I have a bad trick going on, and and you can see all the different squares that I can put my queen into over here, and the king is just right there, so uh, so very dangerous for white to go there. Now right now it's guarded, the square is guarded by the queen, and as long as I can put the queen out somewhere 
I probably can meet the king over there. So anyway, next move. And this is puzzle number one. The knight has just been kicked out uh, by the pawn over here. <coughs> and as I said before, if you do that, what's going to have, what is going to have trouble castling queenside because there's just so much space over there, so much space over there. So, so this is a problem. Uh, there's a variation of here that I want to show you over here, like this one. So, uh, this one is check. Over here now, if queen says, like that's me. So queen cannot take. So king would have to go here. And then, ah, no, great. And yeah, yes, this way. Uh, now, how was the this way? This way. This way. This way. This way. So suddenly, bishop is trapped over here. Yeah. Take that. Take that. And pretty much strap over there. So that's a possibility over here. The problem and, and uh, the pawn structure is off. The problem is the material is somewhat even. Four points over here, two points over here. So so the material is only up by one point. So I'm not sure I want to do that. So that's what I did. Uh, I, I put it safe. Otherwise, it would be like minus three, and I decided, no, I'm not going to do that. So, let's just do this instead. Safer. So, this is just putting the pieces out and see where they go. Pretty typical of me, actually. That's unsupported attack, so that's not a good thing. And there you go. So I have a pawn structure here, a little bonus here, but mainly I have pawn structures here. So anyway, next move. So let's start me to go this way. Uh, I decided to cover this way, but I also threaten to cover to go to this square because after all this square is covered by the queen this square is covered by the pawn so the knight going there is useless really knight on the rim is dim so this is a multi-purpose move i like multi-purpose move and this is puzzle number what number is number two puzzle number two so so bishop just moved there threatening the queen and this is Nice because I already just move the net over here so I can cut this square over here. So, answer to the second puzzle is this one. Just put it out right there. Boom. And nothing what can do about it. If what wants to take the pawn, he'll just lose material. So, go back to the beginning. This is kind of reflex. Uh, I really didn't think much about it because, but open file, put the, put the rook there immediately, like reflex. Anyway, next move. And that's just waiting move there. It doesn't do anything. This is basically preparing for the eventual move over here. So the queen can go someplace else and then have the rook go here and double up the rank. So the, the attack will be spearheaded by a rook as opposed to by the queen. Next move. And that's just a waiting move. Uh, notice you, the uh, net doesn't go anywhere. Doesn't, cannot go anywhere over here. So that's a waiting move. Uh, I think it would be better if, you know, white tries to do this attack there. And if black takes spawn, now it does have the drawback of two points over here. <coughs> uh, Lily 
bearing down watch position but that's all there is to it right if you look at the evaluation like black is winning black is winning very well so next move the evaluation went down uh, I think the computer wants me to either go here or maybe go here I forget exactly, but not my style. Anyway, so I did this one, and what is this? This is parcel number three. Notice that this square is no longer guarded by the pawn. So, well, let's take advantage of that. So, this is the answer to the parcel number three. Check. Now, Because if bishop if bishop blocks, just take that one and mid. So bishop cannot block. So king will have to go there. Now Take that one over there. This is really aggressive. Uh, basically, the queen cannot take the knight because if queen take the knight, this square is no longer guarded, and I can just push the king, push the queen there, and meet the king. But of course, what just take the knight and meet? So there you go quick and beautiful game. I hope you enjoyed this one as much as I do anyway. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.